Hello Gemini, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty quick general reading for you for something that you're not expecting, um, but it would benefit you to expect it. These are going to be general, but if you'd like a personal reading, you can take a look at the description, a few different options there for personal insight. But let's see what's going on with you, Gemini. Something that you don't expect, but it would benefit you to expect it. So what's going on for Gemini? What is happening for Gemini? Father of Cups. Okay, show me more. This is some masculine energy. Show me more. Could be speaking on a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Does not have to be. Mm. Five of Swords. Okay. Okay, show me more, please. So there's some sort of manipulation going on. Another five, five of wands. Yeah, definitely some petty people in the environment or some uh, negative influences. I guess not. I, just, I guess I don't necessarily want to say negative. It kind of feels negative, but there's like manipulation. So it's like someone's trying to be swayed in a certain direction or petty people in the environment are trying to sway someone in a certain direction or influence what someone does, says, where I almost said who they go to, but where they go. So there could be some masculine energy that's dealing with lots of like conflict in his life. Um, it doesn't it doesn't have to be a male? It's just divine masculine energy or masculine energy. But there's there's complications on where to go next, what to do next. There's people influencing that. People are putting in their opinions with something, and it has to do with um, what I want to say is what it has to do with is what the, who the Father of Cups loves or what the Father of Cups loves. So there could be like a disconnect with the masculine energy and their emotions because of the influences in the environment. And these could be physical influences like people um, that they spend time with, that they take their opinions from or guidance from or advice from, the people that they take advice from. There could just be a lot of people that try to control what this masculine energy does. Um, so it's like this person doesn't know what to think, but it could be, again, it could be physical people, but it also could be the Father of Cups' own mind space. It could be both, too, especially because we have the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands. So mm -hmm. Five of Swords is kind of more of like that mental, like it could be somewhat the Father of Cups' like own doing, like own doing through their mind with the manipulation, like holding someone back or adding some sort of doubt or something. There also could be like... There could be like someone who is, um, this masculine energy, I keep saying someone, but this masculine energy is who I'm talking about. And it, it could be your masculine energy too. Like it could be like about taking action. It could be about your masculine energy, but it, it also could be a masculine outside of you. So it's like the more mental conflict going on, but then there's also like the physical conflict. Like there could actually be like fighting going on arguments of some kind. It's really messing with someone's like mind, what they think and what they want to go to. Someone's opinions are being swayed or affected by manipulation. Um, these are two number fives though, so there's some sort of transitional situation going on with the masculine energy. I want to say there could be a lot of grief right now. I don't know what that's about, but there could be a lot of like stress right now with this masculine energy or with you and your if you're if you're feminine it could be about your masculine energy like there could be some sort of conflict about taking action on something or it also could be about if it's about a feminine energy there still could be something where something's messing with someone's ability to connect with what they truly feel what they truly want who they truly want or it could be something it doesn't have to be a person that this person wants or that this person like isn't sure that they want but there's manipulation it could be like a thing a craft a job there could be like people in a masculine energies like environment that are trying to sway someone away from another person okay show me more please for gemini show me more for gemini 
Nine of Cups. Yeah. Okay. So it ends with some sort of wish fulfillment or knowing what someone, what someone knows what they want or someone's finally going to ask for what they want or someone's finally putting what they want first. Um, this is Pisces energy. There could be something specific about the sign Pisces. Um, but it also could just be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, or it does not have to be at all. Just take it however it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, it might not be your reading. Check out your um, rising sign, your moon sign. Okay, alright. So let's get some more details with the other deck here. There could be something about moving, um, or it's just about moving towards, it really feels like someone, someone's coming to like the end of being unsure about something or being unsure of what they want. Someone can is probably like this masculine energy is becoming aware of manipulation and how people in the environment are affecting what they go towards, what they're manifesting. So there's a masculine energy who's learning to like follow their heart, follow their true, real desire. Okay, please show me more details about this for Gemini. What else does Gemini need to know about this that they don't expect? That it would benefit them to expect it. Just give me more details about this. The chariot. There definitely could be something about moving. But it's like the direction that this this um, King of Cups is going in is being influenced. But there's there's something about wanting to move forward, wanting to to create movement in someone's life. Someone's also being, like, is faced with an opportunity to move or the opportunity to, again, if it's not physical moving, it could just be, like, energetic movement in someone's life. There's, like, the opportunity, the option is there. Um, this is also, there also could be some sort of job opportunity or, like, someone wants to go for something, but a lot of people in the environment are, like, against it or they're... They just are sharing their opinions. They're not very um, high vibrational opinions, you know. They're, it's not coming from your higher self. It's not coming from your inner being. So it's not, you know, the best advice, you know. You want to ask yourself what you truly want and go towards that. Follow your own intuition. Use your own guidance system rather than asking the opinions of others. Because you don't know when they're coming from ego. You don't know what vibration they're in. Because the advice that they're giving you is going to be influenced by the vibration that they're in when they're giving you that advice. They could have ulterior motives. They could have subconscious fears that they're putting on you, you know what I mean? Their own fears, like if, if you're getting advice from someone, they could have any kind of sub subconscious fear that will influence the advice that they give you too. So that's something to keep in mind. Show me more. Definitely something about an opportunity though, like someone's faced with an opportunity or it's like someone reached out to someone and someone's like debating whether they reach back out or they or they go for someone or... There's, again, the opportunity to move somewhere. Okay, show me more, please. Show me more. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like some like people are just trying to help. Like, that's... I'm, I'm kind of, like, hearing that. Like, someone's just saying, like, I'm just trying to help you. Like, I'm, I just want what's best for you or something like that. Like, I'm hearing something like that. Someone's just trying to... Um, help someone like that's what that's what someone's saying but also someone's needing to like get more balanced in their mind space I feel like someone's opinions about something are kind of all over the place and it, that could be a part like that could be because of someone's taking advice from others in the environment but someone's kind of back and forth with their opinion on what they want there's a need to be like a little bit more balanced or take a step back and kind of clear your head or something, clear your energy with oh, this person, this masculine energy needs to like clear themselves and kind of decide where they want to go. Yeah, access their strength. But I like how it's like the five and then the six. So there is something to be said about like someone is becoming more balanced. Someone also is becoming more aware of their 
state of mind, I want to say, like the thoughts that they think. Someone is also realizing that the thoughts, the, they have like kind of negative thought patterns, so it it's not helping someone, it's hindering someone, someone's realizing that when someone starts to become more aware of that and work on being more grounded or being more positive, being more high vibrational, they'll learn that they, they'll start to manifest more high vibrational things and then it'll be more of a, it'll be less of a chore to make sure that you're thinking positive, it'll be just kind of natural. Okay. Okay, show me more, please, for Gemini. Show me more for Gemini. Oh, goodness. Yeah, Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. You know, there could be people in the environment that are trying to... stop a feminine energy from going towards or accepting an offer from a masculine energy. There could be something where someone's like trying to decide if they should take an opportunity with someone, if they should move forward with someone, if they should even move in with someone or something like that. And there's a lot of people in the environment. Again, fit it however it, however it fits for you. And, and again, if it's not resonating, don't make it resonate, you know, just... Take it how it goes. If it's not resonating, I apologize. Again, your moon sign, your rising sign, great signs to look at. You can also look at many other signs in your birth chart, too. If you have a lot of one sign in your birth chart, take a look at that reading. Um, but with this, um, uh, like what I'm getting from like the Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, it's like, it's like someone in the environment is saying that this offer isn't good or it's like... Like, or someone's trying to sway someone away from a good offer to, like, a bad offer or something. Or someone's, like, saying that the offer isn't good, that it's, it's subpar. There's also a masculine energy that has a lot of, like, negative thinking patterns where they think they're not good enough. It's like they're giving an offer like the Knight of Cups, but they're imagining that it's just the Page of Pentacles. Like, that's how they feel. It's like even though they're the Knight of Cups, they feel like the Page of Pentacles. There's definitely petty people, though. I'm not sure why there would be someone in the environment that's so openly rude about an offer or rude about someone who someone wants to go towards. There's someone who's just so blatantly like, no, like, that won't be good, or it won't be enough. There also could, okay, there could also be something where someone's, like, trying, like, people in the environment are trying to sway someone away from a, a job or a career or a career path or a passion project that someone wants to work on. Like, someone's, like, saying, like, oh, it's, you're gonna, you're gonna fail, like, financially, like, you're only gonna be getting, like, this much, or it's never gonna work out, or someone's, like, Someone's just like sharing their opinions from a really negative mind space. They might not even be that blatant by saying, oh, you're not going to make any money. Oh, it's not going to be successful or anything like that. But they might be trying to sway you away from the idea or sway someone away from the idea of doing something um, because they subconsciously believe that or they truly or they consciously believe that, whichever it may be. And that's what I mean about the subconscious fears of others. Because when they're giving you advice, they're going to be they're going to be thinking like they think that they're trying to help you. They think they're trying to give you very sound advice, right? But their subconscious fears are like coming through. So it's like even if they if they think, oh, like I would be I would be devastated if I experienced this and then I failed and I did this. You know what I mean? That's coming from their belief that they will fail, that they can't be successful, or you know miracles don't happen, or you know you can't follow your dreams or something like that. Like people have like fears that they are not even aware of but they're performing every day out of like through those fears or they're giving advice through those fears so that's definitely something to keep in mind I definitely want to stress that um but yeah it's like it feels like someone has something that they love there's an opportunity to go for it but they're but the person who has the opportunity is very unsure because their mind space is all over the place they're taking opinions from others and the people in the environment are 
adding a lot of influence on someone's mind state or someone's decision making. Okay, please show me more for Gemini. I just saw the Six of Wands. If this is if this is something about a passion project, some sort of career path, or something that you want to do that you're passionate about, absolutely go for it. Absolutely go for it, especially with the Six of Wands falling out there. Um, six of Swords, awesome. So more it's both sixes. So I like that. It's definitely talking about balance, being more balanced, being more confident in the direction you're moving in, or that this King of Cups is moving in, or being more yeah, feeling more secure in what you're doing, or feeling more, um, yeah, confident, feeling more confident in the direction that you're moving in, more balanced. Um, definitely more sure of what someone wants or someone's finally, like, yeah, sure of what they want. They know what they want, they can feel what they want, and they want to go towards what they want. Someone is going, in the end here, someone is going towards their dream. Someone's getting out of, like, the fives and moving towards the sixes, way more balanced. Um, but yeah, definitely six of six of swords is literally about getting out of chaotic times, getting out of transitional periods, which is the number five, um, to get to a better place. Coming out after the six, I mean after the nine of um, cups, definitely going towards someone's dreams, what someone truly wants. So that's really awesome. So someone's sure about what they want at the end of this. Um, but definitely a message about there being interference in the environment, mentally and physically. Okay. Alright, so what else about this is Gemini needs to be made aware of? What other messages do we need to share with Gemini? What else do we need to say to Gemini to help them? So the Ten of Cups. The Moon. Yeah, okay. So even when you're unsure of the path that you're taking, even when... Um, even when you feel like you don't know how something is going to turn out, you can always trust your intuition, start utilizing your intuition. There could be a specific lesson in intuition. There's definitely something about, there's a lot of water here. So there's there could be something about water signs specifically. Um, cancer energy, I forgot to mention that with the chariot and cancer energy with the moon, but specifically Pisces really. Um, but cancer is ruled by the moon. so. Yeah, so even when you don't and you're unsure of your path, even when your things are a little foggy, you can't exactly see like where things are going to end up, just trust your intuition and keep following your heart. Keep following like what you truly want, what's going to make you happy. Put yourself first, you know? Put yourself first, put put how you feel first no matter what because you want you want to you want to be going towards the things that your your inner being, your higher self angels, guides, whatever you believe in, are trying to get you to go in. So what feels good is is the way to go, as long as it's not something toxic. But if it feels good to you, if it feels like something that would excite you or make you happy or make you feel like extreme joy, just if you think about an experience and you think that would be an amazing experience to experience, go towards it even if you're unsure how it's going to turn out. Um, because chances are you're going to end up where you were supposed to be. Even if it's not exactly the way you picture it to end up, you're going to end up where you're supposed to be if you're following your heart, no matter what. No matter what, you know, fails. Failure is natural, you know, and it's, it's, it might not, you can't even say it's a failure, you know what I mean? Sometimes failures aren't actually failures because they lead you exactly where you're supposed to. Um, so, yeah, thank you, Gemini. I really hope that if this resonated with you, that it provided you with guidance and clarity on something that you're going through. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of love to you as you go through it. And thank you so much again for joining me. Bye.